Hey, BJ Peters here from StampinBJ.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I've got my grandson John with me that likes to be in the video. Today I want to show you how to make this cute box that John is sharing with you. And it's got fun treats inside. John, are you going to get any of the treats? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hang on, let's get started. So again, I'm showcasing the Sure Do Love You bundle and the Lots to Love box framelits. This die cut is honestly amazing. There is so much that you can do with it and I can't wait for you to see this project. For this project, I started with the Calypso Coral cardstock and I die cut three of the Lots to Love boxes and I scored up from the bottom. So putting this against the two and a half inch score line, I scored myself um, this score line here, which is going to become the bottom of our box. Let me show you how to prep these die cuts to go together. First, we're going to remove the bottom little tab here on both sides. Actually, this side, we're going to remove it all the way up here. So you're going to end up with something like this. And you want all of them to look the same. So here they are all prepped. Now we're going to go ahead and use our bone folder to score on the score lines. So I've got my score lines all burnished and I've added the tear and tape adhesive to the um, folded edges here. And I want to point out again, you're going to want it close to the folded edge part. You obviously want to use strong adhesive when you're doing this because it's a box and you want it to make sure that it stays together. So I'm just removing that for the tear and tape adhesive, I'm just removing the covering and then just adding in the the cardstock to make it go around and then this one you're just gonna have to kind of do by hand because this is gonna be a triangular box so I lined it up and I'm just gonna kind of pinch it and score it together just like that and there is gonna be our triangular box now for the to get the bottom you're going to fold up two of the sides and you're going to kind of hold it up. I'm going to do it like this. You're going to kind of hold it up and then I'm going to use a pencil and mark a line there that I'm going to cut on. So I'm trying not to squeeze the cardstock in too much but just making a line right along there. And now I'll cut along that line. Using a, a long handled scissors helps me make a you know really straight um, cut along that line. And notice that it doesn't come to a complete point there. That's okay. And now I'm going to fold that one up and put another one of these down and repeat that. And I'm going to do that all the way around. I love the little triangle box. I think this would be kind of a fun little shape, something a little different. And every now and then, you know, you gotta have something just a little different. Kind of fun. And not so big that you have to put a ton of treats or candy in, but it would still hold like a little necklace or a bracelet or a gift card. Just cute packaging is what we want. All right, there we go. So I've got my um, three sides and now I'm just gonna kind of fold it together and put some adhesive on here and that's gonna be the bottom of the box. I'm just gonna come in with some fast fuse. It's nice and easy and quick here. Fast fuse is another strong adhesive that you could choose to use instead of the tear and tape. Kind of whatever floats your boat. There we go and let's come in here with the bone folder and just press that down really nice there we go all right now we've got these little tabs here and we're gonna um, I'm gonna sneak a little glue dot in there and get those tabs in there to help hold the, the top part together I'm just gonna use my paper piercer I like doing that love that all right 
I've got something for these flaps too. And just kind of as I did in some of the other um, boxes that I did, I used this and I just cut out this top piece right here from that Painted with Love Designer Series paper that one so has fallen in love with. Isn't that cute? Love that paper. Let's get those on there. Super adorable. I'm going to also adhere them to the box. So I'm going to go ahead and put some fast views on the underside of the flap there. And just kind of burnish that down a little bit. There we go. Looking pretty cool. I am just loving this box. I stamped just a little background stamp from another coordinating stamp set called Heart Happiness. That's this one right here. Then I actually also die cut a um, heart using the same framelits from the Painted with Love Designer series paper. And you can see I added some um, of the gold metallic thread to the background. Just kind of a perfect, you know, brings out that, that gold. Love that. What a great little finishing accent that is. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the kind of the ready shreddy. Um, you can find this in the catalog, in the occasions catalog too. Just kind of finish it off, add a little bit in the bottom there, and plot my candies. I got some of them right here. And just plot my candies right there on top. And what a cute little gift that is going to be on my table for my customer open house. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, you can purchase these products in my online store at stampinbj.com. And remember to create and feel great.